Hey Finksters, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finkster.com and in today's video you're going to learn how to test multiple um, prefixes for a given string. So say, um, so say you have a string hello world and now you want to st uh, check this string against multiple prefixes and check uh, whether actually any of the prefixes in your list is a prefix uh, any of the potential prefixes in the list is a prefix of your given string. So how can you accomplish this? Um, so for example, in this case, we would uh, the so our our uh, med our method that it accomplishes this would return true because um, the string hello would be a prefix of our given string s. And if this one would be some dummy prefix, then the return value would be false because um, there's no prefix in this list of prefixes that is actually a prefix of our uh, string s. So how can we uh, solve this problem? Um, there are basically three ways and we are we are going to examine all of them uh, quickly and you also learn something uh, something uh, in on top of just solving this problem, uh, namely uh, how the map function and the generator expressions and the any function work. And I think it uh, it's just therefore useful, uh, even if you are not interested in this particular problem, it's even useful to study this problem to become a better coder overall. Okay, so but the straightforward way is often the best in many cases. So say uh, we want to... Um, uh, um, yeah, get the result. We simply call the function starts with and we pass a tuple of prefixes. And this is important because you can the starts with method. It usually, so most people only know, for example, only you know that the starts with method can can take one argument, which is often a string argument, and then it checks whether this string argument is a prefix of the string on which it is called. So this is a, a string method. In this case, for example, um, if you print the result, the the result will be false, right? So because our string s doesn't start with starts with. But now we would have to do this in a loop, like checking for each individual string whether this string is a prefix of our of our given string s. So uh, which is kind of tedious a bit, and um, therefore it is more um, Pythonic actually to pass the tuple. Uh, variants of the prefixes into the uh, into the starts with method and this basically already works so in this case you see the output is true because one of the prefixes this one the last one is actually a prefix of our given string okay so this is a this is the first method and i would say it's also the most pythonic one because it's uh, it's it's the best one so so many people know that somehow you can pass multiple prefixes into it but if you try to pass a list into it for example you will get uh, the following output so start with uh, must be a string or a tuple of a string not a list uh, <laughs> sorry about that um, so it uh, must be a tuple so therefore you need to, you need to convert it un into a tuple um, by simply passing it into the built-in tuple function okay but then there is another very pythonic way and I thought uh, this one would be nice to include here uh, based on the any function so the any function takes an iterable of value and it checks whether any element at least one element of this iterable of uh, of uh, values um, evaluates to the boolean true value so it, only if all of them would be false the any function would re return false if at least one of them is true the uh, any function returns true as well and so now we simply need to pass an iterable into this and what kind of iterable basically we want to check for all prefixes whether this prefix is um, a prefix of our given string so we uh, call starts with x for x in prefixes. This one creates an iterable, it's called a generator expression. Uh, it creates an, an um, iterable, um, so it, gen it generates an iterable and uh, based on this expression here, so we have starts with x and now we need to define a context. What is x? x, we, x takes on each string in our prefixes. Um, a list of strings right so x will be first uh, high then it will be by then it will be no then it will be hello and then it passes this string into the starts with function and checks for whether this string is actually a prefix of our given string as hello world so in this case uh, it would return tr so for the first one first element the return value would be false because it is not a prefix the second one also false third one false but for the fourth one it would return true so therefore as at least one element in the any iterable is true the whole um, 
the whole it the whole uh, function actually returns true as well and if you print the result you see the output is true as well okay so this is the second second uh, way and i think it's it's uh, it's quite nice uh, this method um, we also have a third method that is based on the map function and you can um, it is also based on any so we still have any but instead of having this generate expression here we basically create a new iterable um, of, of uh, values where each element actually is a boolean true or false whether whether this uh, this element in the original list prefixes is a prefix indeed of our string hello world or not so we have like uh, false 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 true and then it passes this uh, iterable into the any function so and we can create this iterable using the map function the map function takes one function to be applied to each element of a given iterable so we have a function and an iterable and this function then will be applied element wise to each element in the iterable right so what is our iterable it is prefixes and what is our function it is basically s dot starts with so functions are objects in python which means that you can pass objects into the map into functions such as the map functions and this function will then be executed on each element in the prefixes list and um and so basically we we we, we performed starts with function element wise for each string in our prefixes um, list and if you run this we basically uh, again get the same output true so in all cases we have the same output uh, we check for a given li list of strings whether any of those strings is a prefix of our uh, of our string s to be um, uh, checked against Okay, so these are the three main ways and you have learned about the map function, about the any function, about generator expressions and um, about like the tuple version of the starts with function. And all of them are, I, I would say, equally Pythonic. And if you just count the number of characters, all of them are approximately the same one-liner solutions. Okay, so thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video. Bye.